So the burning question that all Harry Potter fans want to know is if somewhere out there, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry exists. Alright, so as of now, there are many theories out there about Hogwarts, and some of these theories are genuinely insane. Let's take a look. Also, quick disclaimer, I don't know if I support all these theories or not, but some of these are just super entertaining, and hey, they could be real, like none of us really know. Alright, so as many of you may know, Harry Potter has been the trend on TikTok, but before Harry Potter blew up on TikTok, it really started from Draco Malfoy, and this just lead it into Harry Potter sprouting back to life on TikTok. Some of you have a creepy obsession with Draco Malfoy. So as I was going through my For You page, I got inspired to rewatch the films all over again because the last time I've seen them was many, many years ago. And I was rewatching the first film and I became entranced with Hogwarts, like that opening scene when they're on the boats and they're just seeing Hogwarts in the distance. It's insane. And it made me wonder, does Hogwarts exist? And if so, why has no one found anything? Why has no one said anything? If I was rich, the first thing I would do was just spend my money and build Hogwarts, like a castle called Hogwarts in the middle of like the hills far, far away. Like, doesn't that sound like a good idea? Give me money and I'll do that for you guys. Hogwarts is undeniably a magical place and imagine if we muggles got to attend. I would give up anything to attend. Before we start, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on the bell if you want, and give this video a thumbs up because it can reach more people that way. Theory 1. J.K. Rowling is a wizard author. Alright, so with this conspiracy theory, it started from Reddit. Here we are on reddit.com. And it was posted by Phoenix Trainer. I'm pretty sure that's their username. And it's titled, What If J.K. Rowling is a wizard author who wrote the historical account of Harry Potter? That's a bold statement, but I could actually see this one being true and accurate. It reads, The wizarding world always wants, wanted muggles to know about the Battle of Hogwarts, and though they tried sending subtle signs, none of them worked. They called upon an ex-Hogwarts pupil, one who was very gifted with words. I'm sure this is about J.K. Rowling to disguise herself as a muggle and go undercover for perhaps the rest of her life. She would write the whole of Harry's story, interviewing necessary characters and writing it down in as much detail as possible. Even if it took seven books, Joanne said she'd be delighted to do such a thing. Alright, so let's talk about this. This is actually a crazy post, like, shocking. So, this paints J.K. Rowling as a historian who sort of had a duty or, like, a job to write the magical write the history about the magical world. But the more that I read this, the more I thought, why would she put her the magical world at risk of being invaded by the humans? Like I'm sure if Donald Trump found out about the Hogwarts being real, he'd be like, Let's invade, you know, let's let's send our troops there instead of wherever else they need to be. And that would just ruin the magical world. It would expose them to humans. So why would they want that exposure to happen? And this question leads into conspiracy theory number two. Theory two, JK Rowling is a squib. Hold up, okay, even I would forgot what the meaning of a squib meant, so let's go to the internet, that's a place we can find all the answers. So it reads, a squid, I said a squid, no, I'm not talking about the animal, I'm talking about a squib also known as a wizard born, is a non-magical person who is born to at least one magical parent. Oh, so it's kind of like muggles, kind of like Hermione, but not really. Scribs are, in essence, wizard born muggles. Oh, okay. They are rare. Oh, so they're, they're rare. And are looked upon with a degree of disdain by some witches and wizards, particularly pure buds. I'm sure the Malfoys hated them. And, oh yeah, here's a picture of a squib. It's that, the caretaker. I, for, I always forget his name, but he's the one with the cat, like the scary guy. Alright, so here's a post. It is on Kioria, Kiora. Sorry, I suck at pronouncing things if you guys haven't realized. And it is titled, Is J.K. Rowling a Squib? Alright, Lloyd Warren, who says, Perfect for Slytherin House. They say, I would go so far as saying, Yes, J.K. Rowling is a squib. Either that or an unhuman entity. 
is mentioned throughout the book that there are muggle repelling spells around Hogwarts, so they will see a dangerous ruin and have instant thoughts about wanting to be elsewhere. Given J.K. Rowling's acute knowledge of both Hogwarts and the Harry Potter story, she was certainly not a muggle and had first-hand knowledge of being inside Hogwarts and other magical locations. She wasn't simply passed on information. It could be easy to say that J.K. is a witch in hiding. However, we do know she went to muggle schools and studied at the University of Ex e e Exeter. <laughs> So, she did not attend Hogwarts in her youth, she did not study magic, and so we can assume she has little to or no magical powers. Um, that, first of all, that school could just be a cover-up, she could have still gone to Hogwarts, like, you know, like, she moved here. Um, anyways, it also says, the only possible reason for this is J.K. Rowling being a script. This means she has had, this means she had to live a muggle life. However, has the ability to venture into locations usually solely seen by wizards. I would like to see this confirmed by J.K. Rowling sometime in the future. Well, given it being this posted nine years ago, I do not think J.K. Rowling will ever confirm this or it will ever be seen by her, unfortunately. Anyways, this theory goes back to what I was saying. What if J.K. Rowling was jealous she lacked magical abilities, so she decided to write the history of the wizarding world, and she released it as a fiction story to muggles, a.k.a. us, because, and she didn't really care about the repercussions or if the magical world could be destroyed or not a secret anymore. She was just jealous and she wanted her fame and her attention. Hey, I mean, it could have been a possibility. And it, didn't end up, and it did end up working for her because she got millions of dollars now. She's rich now. And she's famous. So, uh, if I was her, I would feel accomplished. Theory 3. Luna Lovegood believes Hogwarts is real. Right here is this shocking article is posted by Inverse Entertainment in 2016. It's titled, Luna Lovegood Believes J.K. Rowling is a Wizard. Hey, she definitely met J.K. Rowling and she was in the Harry Potter movies firsthand. So if she believes it, I'm sure we can all believe it. Her name is Ivana Lynch, who played Luna Lovegood in the Harry Potter films, recently revealed that she subscribes to the fan theory that J.K. Rowling is secretly a muggle. According to the Leaky Cauldron, that's a cool name, that sounds like mysterious. Lynch said, Every now and then, I'll just be like, Is this all an elaborate cover-up? And the wizards are howling with laughter at how we've accepted this? Is J.K. Rowling the only muggle in the world who knows about the secrets and she's somehow been entrusted? What if she's covering it up? And that was my that was my Luna Lovegood impression. I know it's kind of bad. I don't have the accent. I think she's Irish. But what if she's covering it up? theory that the wizarding world is real and J.K. Rowling is somehow involved might sound like it belongs on the Quibbler, <laughs> but it bounced around in the Potterverse universe for as long as it existed. Some maintain that Rowling is a squib, like we said earlier. Oh, his name was Argus Finch. Filch. Sorry about that. Argus. But the theory states that Rowling wrote down the history of the wizarding world and cleverly disguised it as fiction to muggles. But this theory just goes to show, even actors in the film believe that J.K. Rowling is somehow involved more than just writing it, that she could actually be a part of the story. Theory number four. Harry Potter is a little too detailed. Did J.K. Rowling really write this by herself? So from all the four houses, comment your house in the comments guys, I want to know, to all the different characters, all the customs, the traditions, like the Yule Ball, to the magical creatures like the goblins, dragon breeds, etc. There is an uncomprehensible, uncomprehensible, I don't know why I pronounced it wrong, level of detail. Here we are at this article titled, But Did J.K. Rowling Really Write Harry Potter? It is by Claire Linick, four years ago, by Life World. I'm dumb, it's actually on omgfacts.com. When we talk about this picture though, her mouth is gaping open and she's reading the first book of Harry Potter like, you're trying to fool us, JK, but I understand that you, you're you probably involved in this somehow. I don't believe you. Read the intro. Everyone loves royal drama, and this one is royally dramatic. It has to do with the current reigning queen of England, JK Rowling. In case you've been living under rocks in the mid-90s, Rowling is the author of the widely beloved Harry Potter series. Or is she? If you ask a few staunch conspiracies, I'm probably pronouncing words wrong. She absolutely is not. She is merely an actress that has fooled us all. Author goes on to say, However, my chill level is in the negative right now, and I have no patience for exactly two conspiracy theories. 
this one, and the moon landing. I will not discount space exploration or the achievements of blank woman. Not today. Satan. So, you've probably heard the story of J.K. Rowling coming up with the idea of Harry Potter while she was delayed on a train. Like, was she on the Hogwarts Express? Probably. She'd always want to be a writer, and at age six, wrote her first book named Rabbit. Oh, wow, I haven't heard of that. Maybe, maybe I'll read it. Which was, surprise, about a rabbit. Uh, okay. While I'm sure Rabbit was an instant success, I haven't heard of it. The Harry Potter series would take a little longer to bring to life. Why? For five years after a train delay in 1990, Rowling worked through the ideas of the seven books of Harry Potter, mostly on scraps of paper. Finally, she put together three chapters of the book, and it was picked up by the publishing house Bloomsbury. The rest is wizarding history. Kind of suspicious there how she only wrote three chapters, and instantly it was picked up. Like, that had to be set up. I think Dumbledore, Professor McGonagall set them up to instantly get it published. What a triumphant story. You couldn't make this thing up, could you? Absolutely not. Except, according to one, basically, one crazy person on the internet, you could. The Norwegian film director, Nina Grunfeld, came out of the gates back in 2005 with some nuts claims. Like the one about J.K. Rowling being an actress paid to be the face of the entire enterprise of ghostwriters. Honestly, that is not that far off because a lot of stories are actually written with ghostwriters. Oh, we get a Grunfeld quote. It is possible that a person can write six thick books that are translated into 55 languages and sell more than 250 million copies in less than 10 years. It is, is it probable that the stores then get filled and commercially exploited to the degree seen here without any well thought out strategy or highly professional players behind them? Oh, and here's the iconic GIF, Troll in the Dungeon! Now, in defense of Rita Skeeter, er, er, um, Grunfield, <laughs> book enterprises have been built by a group of ghostwriters under the same pen name. Oh yeah, see now it goes on to list like Nancy Drew, Boxcar Children, I read that. Yeah, so ghostwriting is actually not that far off. So if we were to believe at this point that J.K. Rowling is much to do with writing the Harry Potter series as the Pope, how is this being kept a secret? I think the secret behind J.K. Rowling is guarded more stronger than the entrance of Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Sweet Grunfield tells us, but once J.K. Rowling gets tired of acting like she wrote the series, this Scandinavian myth maker says, the truth will be revealed. Dang, this Grunfield person seems like really obsessed, like angry obsessed. Like, if they ever met Rowling, they would like go up to her and just be like, tell the truth, I know you're an actress. Let's recap really quick. One woman, aka Grunfield, came forward to discuss, to discount, oh, another woman's achievements. How quaint, how modern, how brave. That totally goes against feminism. As I said earlier, I'm not a fan of this conspiracy theory. Are you sure? The only ghostwriters in the story would be nearly headless Nick. <laughs> That's a ghost guy that doesn't have a head. If he went through a bad poetry phase. I am one of the millions of children that were effectively raised by J.K. Rowling. And ain't no one talking about mama. But... Isn't Grunfield talking about about her and you're writing all about her? Oh my god, can we talk about this picture? I think it's from Goblet of Fire, I think. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. See like see the Patil twins right there? They were so underrated. Like, why didn't they get more screen time? And they're like the only Indian people in the whole series. But they were underrated. Also, you know that guy in the back the, the I think he's like the tallest one. I was watching How to Get Away with Murder, that was a good show. And I just realized he was in Harry Potter. I had no idea. Why didn't they make him a main character? Why didn't they give him lines or anything like that? Like, he's in the background of, like, all the first movies. But he barely... Like, I don't even think he has a line. Like, he's just there, like, reacting. Like, why did, why did you rob him of that? So there's Luna Lovegood. If you don't like her, then you don't have any taste. Theory 5. Hogwarts is located somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Alright, so this one is kind of long. It's a story. I'm back on Curia.com. I don't know if I say that right. And it's posted by Yeet Yeet with the dog profile. It's obviously an anonymous account. It's posted on January 12, 2019. So not that far ago. They say, Oh, duh, it's real. What do you think? Harry, J.K. Rowling wrote all seven of his books just for kicks and giggles? I don't think so. Me and my friends graduated, of course. Wow, wow. That's, that, that actually gives credibility, you know? Like, I wouldn't believe a non-graduate. Just took a school reunion trip. You're a muggle version of high school reunions. Hey, that's kind of rude. 
But I don't even know if I'm going to mine. I don't even think I'm having one. Anyways, five years ago, I think with all of our old classmates, it was a blast seeing and meeting some of the witches and wizards that I had grown up with and how little they'd done with their lives. Oh, so this person was a wizard who attended Hogwarts. That's dope. Anyway, back on topic. The location of Hogwarts is a deeply close guarded secret. For safety reasons, of course. <laughs> like that ever worked. Yeah, I mean, J.K. Rowling literally wrote about all these books anyways. But you guys seem like a trustworthy worthy crowd. Thank you. The castle rests in the Scottish Highlands. Or at least it did until a certain dark lord, do not say his name, decided to vandalize the place during a party of his. Of course, I was before that time, and I didn't, and I don't read the prophet anymore. But it supposedly involved a lot of green laser lights and red spray paint. They had to shut the place down for repairs for like 20 seconds, because that's the luxury of magic people. That would be nice. Before they could admit any more students or whatever. I've gone off of my antics again. Sorry, not sorry. Hey, hey, that's a Demi Lovato song. Anyway, yes, Hogwarts is located in the Scottish Highlands, though even I don't know its exact location. You sure about that? Because you seem like you've attended Hogwarts, you've walked the halls, you've gone to class there. You've probably maybe met Draco Malfoy, maybe you've been on the Quidditch team and got beat up to catch the Golden Snitch, and you do not know where the location is. Like, why didn't you take some pictures? Why didn't you, like, use your GPS, like, put it in your Siri? You tell me. Yes, even I don't know where it is. Despite all the letters I've sent. Maybe the headmaster isn't getting them. That's rude, Dumbledore. Like, do your job. So you might as well just go on enjoying your pitiful, magicless existence, muggles. Hey, this is rude, okay? Because if these letters get sent out, I best be getting these letters first. And I don't know who you're calling a muggle. Because I don't even know. What if I'm not a muggle? Like, you don't even know. So don't run. Don't attack me. Ignorance is bliss. That's my motto. It's one of the reasons I stopped reading The Prophet, and I'm much better off for it now. I'm much better off for it. Okay, this person, they seem really arrogant, but I couldn't blame them because they've been to Hogwarts, like I said, and they obviously are reminiscing, and I just think they're super lucky they went there, and if they ever get, if Dumbledore ever writes back, oh wait, he's he's not alive, sorry, um... If whoever the headmaster right now is ever writes back, I should have put a spoiler alert there. But I'm sure you've all like watched the movies. Sorry, not sorry. Um, if the headmaster ever writes back, let me know. But this story is kind of crazy. But I like how it's like a first-hand account, and you never know because the only person that is proof of this is that person that they went there. Like you can't really find factual evidence to prove against this. Unless, of course, we do find the Hogwarts student record book. And unless the castle does appear. But dang, people nowadays really be trying to shift in their beds at night and going to Hogwarts. And for some people, it actually is working. I don't even know how that thing works. Don't even get me started about shifting. Like, I have no idea how that whole thing works. But people have gone there and people are now crying about not seeing Draco Malfoy anymore. Anyways, this person might be a lunatic or they might be telling the truth. Like J.K. Rowling. We'll never know. Alright, so that's all the conspiracy theories for this video, but believe it or not, there's two more crazy theories that I didn't even get into. Like, one of them has happened recently.